girl, but the boat of his dream almost sank before he could set sail. The old man in charge of the supply and his son died at home. They were both under some kind of curse, but fortunately, the goods that the old man had promised Plankton Boss were already hanging neatly in the warehouse, and they were all flawless raccoon bodies. As so, oh, he couldn't care less about the strange death case. Plankton Boss had all the pelts packed away by the employees. He felt he was a little closer to his dream. After arriving at the factory, Plankton Boss ordered the employees to move the pelts into the field. But looking at the bazaar first, the women workers all ran back. The male tailor naturally became the one to handle the material. Plankton Boss was still discussing with his staff about his future glory life with great enthusiasm. Not aware of the imminent danger, the foolish tailor was used to cutting 